Samoa. And uh, this is the first flight of our drone as we try to test this uh, here in Tansa. Uh, I have to send this place for the first flight due to uh, it is a bigger place and very spacious. Uh, however, I was uh, uh, amazed that uh, this drone is uh, just it's really aggressive in flying. So meaning uh, it needs to be uh, to familiarize first the use of the uh, remote control so that it would not uh, apply anywhere so that is my uh, failure I did not try to uh, to master the uh, the remote itself and uh, I never rely I did not try to focus on the manual so what I did I just pushed the start so what happened is just the first flight of our drone went to uh, Malungay Tree, yeah. and the uh, this one, this is the uh, as you can see right now, I, I brought with me the manual uh, in the middle of the street for us to be able to uh, to review and to uh, follow the uh, the instruction. But as what I have said, due to my uh, eagerness and uh, excitement to have it uh, fly in order to have the first uh, uh, flight and to take a shots here in uh, in my uh, investment here in Tansa oh my god it went through uh, it flies very fast and uh, as what I have said it went to the uh, Balungay tree Okay, and uh, the next video you will see the second flight. Uh, I was uh, lapping and uh, oh. along with the children that is uh, Barites here in this area. Uh, it went to fly uh, direct to Aratiris 3. As you can see right here, it's uh, flying now, okay, and uh, yeah, the the, uh, the camera is uh, functioning because I did try to uh, to click on the uh, video recording. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see uh, the second flight. Let's just try to observe to where it goes. Okay, so as you can see, there were uh, children uh, very curious and uh, excited also to see how our drone uh, will uh, flew in the sky. And it helps a lot, these children, who was this uh, called the uh, pointed wood, because I was able to use that in uh, getting our drone in the Aratidis tree. So just uh, wait for a while and uh, let's uh, watch for the, uh, the landing of our uh, drone in the Aratidis tree. Okay, it's about to take up now. Okay, one, two, three, go. It's flying now, also very unstable because I, as I told you, uh, I'm not uh, familiar yet how it would, uh, how it will be operated. So let's see again. Okay, it was flying, and that's me in the camera. So that's the balloon gate three. Then went through, turn around, turn around. Our drone's turning around. And then, and then, and then, and then, it's fly away, going up, and then it go straight to the Aratiris tree. And that's it. <laughs> As you can see, oh, uh, our uh, drone landed in the Aratiris tree, and it was stuck there. 
uh, stuck in the the pilot of the drone plan to get the Aratris 3. So at this point of time in uh, in this video, as you can see, uh, it's already in, uh, stuck in the Aratris 3, and uh, we're about to uh, to get it using the uh, wood uh in order to have our uh, drone okay and that's it okay sinusundot ko na ng uh, kahoy yung drone natin habang ang drone naman natin ay tuloy-tuloy naman sa pag video no maganda malinaw siya this goes only around uh, 1300 including the uh, uh this uh, delivery fee from Shopee Maganda siya for a starter like me. Uh, the purpose of buying this drone is, you know, uh, for our blogging purposes. To make it uh, enjoyable. And uh, in order to, uh, to have this uh, technology, uh, to adapt our technology in blogging. So, again, it's a second failure. The second flight goes to the Aratiris 3 and uh, we fly again for the third time because uh, I am very eager to uh, how to uh, to see how it fly in the sky so it landed again in the you know, uh, somebody get it after getting it from the uh, Aratiris 3 so we return back to our home base uh, to the helipad <laughs> so that uh, we could test it again so yeah that's the wood that I had uh, used in order to get our drone from the Aratilis tree so with the help of the children watching uh, with us eh, it helps a lot shout out sa mga bata na ito uh, buti na lang may panundot na kahoy pang sungkit para ating uh, makuha ang ating drone. Now, let's uh, watch for the uh, third flight. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. So, I have the three audience there. Uh, one one girl and two boys with a stick so that uh, in preparation if ever it uh, will be stuck again in the tree we can get it again so it flew again okay invertedly so uh, that's me that's my um, my sleeper <laughs> while uh, reading the uh, the manual All right, and that's it. So we have a third flight again. So and that's my motorcycle. Our snowy. Mm -hmm. Ayan, naka tua para akong bata. Kasi naka-enjoy siya, nakakawala ng stress when you see your drone flying. But sooner or later, I will be able to, ano, to master the, you know, the drone itself. So it goes again. Okay. And then it flies. Okay. Again, that's me. There's only one thing that I uh, noticed. I haven't tried it. Uh, I have recorded the video. However, the voice that I have was not captured in the video using the drone. That's why I have uh, decided to use uh, na lang to uh, a voiceover. So it flew again. Oh, it goes back to the other uh, tree, and then it fell down. Okay, on the ground. 
Okay, and the children get it. <laughs> 